to me I can't believe it myself Suddenly I'm up on top of the world It should have been somebody else Believe it or not I'm walking on air I never thought I could feel so free Flying away on a wing and a prayer Who could it be? Believe it or not It's just me Good morning, Slobo Creek Cubs. This is your Cape Cub Morning News. I'm Lily. And I'm Sophia. Today is Friday, April 20th, 2018, and it is Vocation Day 4 for all auxiliary classes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag led by Ms. Rogers' first grade class. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Please remain standing for the pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one and indivisible. Please be seated. Cibolo Creek Elementary School inspires the academic excellence that enables our community to meet the challenges of tomorrow. We will now pause for a moment of silence. Should we say so now here touchdowns or something? Okay. Oh! Today's lunch is cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, chicken nuggets, <laughs> wheat roll, carrot salad, fruit and milk, and for dessert, chocolate pudding. Delicious! Delicious. Celebrating our birthday today is. Today. It's Friday. It's Friday. Friday. It's gotta get down on Friday. <laughs> Here's Mr. Snyder with a special announcement. Special. 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 It's Friday, kids. Uh, no. Be happy. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that looks weird. <laughs> it kids. still looks very weird. Kids, be happy. It's Friday. It's Friday. 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 Gotta get down on Friday. This is awkward. I don't like this. Stalling is hard. Yeah, it is. Stalling is hard, kids. Mr. Snyder with a special. I think I'm on now. All right, guys. Today is Friday, April 20th. That means today is the deadline to turn in all of your submissions for the sidewalk card. I'm talking to grade two, grade three, grade four, grade five. Now, I want to explain everything because there's some confusion, and some of that is the art teacher's responsibility, so blame him, okay? <laughs> Not me. Now, <clears throat> so every single class, second through fifth, is going to have one winner, and the teammates for that group are coming from that class. So we're going to keep it simple. We're going to make it easier than it was in the past, and we're going to have teams of three people. That means a winner, and then the winner is going to choose two people to go help them. And like I said, the people they choose have to come from my list of approved people, people who have turned in their own submission. So get it to me by 3 o'clock today or you're not in the competition. All right, that's it. Today is National Lima Bean Day. Or er, Lima res being respected, sorry. Respect, respect kids. Respect res the lima. lima. Wait, today is National Lima Bean Respect Day. Do we respect them, or do they respect us? Hmm. <laughs> and now here are some great kids who respect the lima uh -huh. to introduce today's <laughs> respect watch the lima. dogs. <laughs> respect the lima. I do not like lima beans. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what it is, lima beans? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Lizzie, do you like lima beans? Yeah. Matt, do you like oh. lima beans? Respect oh, the lima. Okay. Respect the lima. All right. So Lizzie and Matt brought their dad, Mr. Dillon, to school today to be our watchdog. Lizzie, can you tell us what his dad's favorite um, sport? Baseball. And Matt, who does dad cheer for when he's cheering for a baseball team? The Royals. The Royals. And would you happen to be a member of the Royals baseball team? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. Awesome. So dad cheers for Matt's team. Now, Lizzie, what is dad's favorite kind of bean? Mm. It is, is it a lima bean? Mm. Pinto bean. Oh, a pinto bean. Awesome. So um, in this right now we respect the pinto bean not the lima bean all right guys thank you so much for bringing dad to school today if y'all need anything please let mr dylan know he's here to serve all of us today book friends today get your books now don't forget to clip box tops <laughs> today is national look-alike day wait no 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 I'm Lily. And I'm Sophia. There you go. Does anybody in the world look as much alike as we do? And now here is Miss Hilgey with, with some, some touchdowns. touchdowns. Yay, we have some touchdowns. And so they have been here for how many days did you say? Ten. Ten days. So right now we have Miss Medford's class. Yay. So excited. And Miss Callahan's class. Wow. Okay, so we have Miss Medford's class. Miss Madford's class Yay. and Miss Callahan's class. Woo! I guess fifth grade. Hmm. That's okay. <laughs> we are very excited for y'all. Thank you so much, guys. Now here is Miss Maxwell with some words, words of wisdom. wisdom. Knowledge. 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 Don't forget wisdom. to clip your box tops. Clip, clip, take busy, chip, clip. Good morning. I've got two special friends with me today. I've got Gage and Ainsley. Ains can y'all see Ainsley? Okay. So let's talk about our MVP Gage right here. Gage is from Miss Dormady's first grade class. Gage has been a great addition to the class and to Cibolo Creek Elementary. He is a shining example of respect, not lima bean respect, but respect towards other people kindness, and a real love for learning. Gage is a true leader. Congratulations, Gage. And here's your special spirit stick. And we have another MVP. This is Miss Ainsley Pelletier from Miss Morvin's ECC class. Ainsley works really hard to follow directions and to do her best work. She is also a good helper and a friend to her classmates. Thank you, Ainsley. Get your certificate and your special spirit stick. This is awesome. Love having these MVPs. Okay, let's talk about overcoming obstacles for a moment. Have you ever thought about how a blind person reads? Well, she reads Braille books and books that have tiny bumps on that page. All the bumps are a special code for letters and words. A blind person moves their fingers across the page, and that's how they read. Braille was invented by a blind man named Lewis Braille. Lewis lived in a world that was always dark, but he didn't let that darken his attitude. He kept a positive attitude, worked hard, and became a teacher and a great inventor. Next time you get upset because you're having a problem at school, talk to your teacher or your parents. Then remember Lewis Braille, because you can get through your problems and succeed just like he did. Okay, Gage and Ainsley, can y'all help me out with a cheer to get us started on this Friday? Awesome. Let's do it. One, two, three. We spell success with C-C-E-S. This has been Lily and Sophia with, with the KCA Morning News.
The official CCE yes. time is 7.46. Have, Have a great day. day. Bye. Bye. No, Mia, we no. already told you. I'm Are you literally. kidding? I'm Sophia. Come on, Mia. 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 Come Mia. 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 Okay, so.